Hello everyone, this is Mitch from Alfie Forex. Welcome back to episode 8 of the weekly analysis series, where we'll be looking for some trading opportunities that we can take advantage of during the week. So make sure you like the video and subscribe for more content. So for our first currency pairs we usually do, we start off with the euro against the US dollar. Now, last week we were looking for selling opportunities, we were in a seller's zone, and we can see if we do go down to the one hour time frame, what exactly did happen last week. Now, we can see that when the market did end up opening at the beginning of the week, we can see at 12, on the 12th, we can see that the market did end up bouncing off between these two levels. We did have this seller's area here where we had hoped that the market could react from to come down lower. We can see if we were meant to be a bit more accurate, can see true support and resistance seem to have been that level and we can see that the market did range there a bit before managing to breach this level to the downside now we can see it did approach this particular low that it did bounce off before it did give us a pullback and we can see that the market did come down lower so it seems that those selling opportunities did work out and this week we will still be looking for those selling opportunities so we can see uh we are in a seller zone and we can see since the market did bounce down lower, we will be still looking and focusing on these three levels right here. So since we are still in a seller zone, we can expect that the market should be able to breach and hold below this particular area because we can see there are buyers holding the market within this particular area. Now, since we can see that the market has bounced off this area before as well, we will still also be looking for possible selling opportunities either within this area or within this particular area. Right now, remember, we always want to focus on selling where they're sellers and buying where they're buyers. So we will be waiting for the market to breach this area to the downside because we do not want to sell right now since there are sellers hold, or at least there are buyers holding the market there. But we do know as long as we are holding above, sorry, below this particular red line here, we will be looking for selling opportunities. Now, since the market did manage to breach this area to the downside, we are in a seller zone. And if we do get the price actually breaching this particular area to the upside and holding above, then at that point in time, we will turn to buyers and we will no longer be looking for selling opportunities. So all these levels right here, we will ignore them for now. And this will be the main focus area that we will be looking at this week. So we'll be waiting for a pullback to one of these areas or if we can get the price actually breaching this area to the downside and holding below for us to look for our selling opportunities on the euro against the US dollar. Now, moving on to the next currency pair, we do have the British pound against the US dollar. Last week, we were looking for selling opportunities on this currency pair and we can see on the one hour time frame what did happen. You can see it did end up holding below this particular air. Remember, we had pointed out last week that if we did get the price actually breaching and holding above this air, we will actually look for some buying opportunities targeting the market a bit higher but we can see this market did probe this area to the downside and since it was never never once did it actually breach and hold above that was a good sign for us and we can see it did come down lower bounce off the buyers area and you can see it did range a bit during the whole of last week still looking for selling opportunities where the sellers are and you could have actually looked to exit your trades within this particular buyers area now we can see this level is looking as if it is breaching to the downside so on the four hour time frame, we can see we did have these two levels that we did focus on. It did range between these two areas. And right now it does look as if it is breaching this particular air to the downside. So we'll wait to see if we can get the price actually holding below, then we should be good to go to continue with our selling opportunities. And if it doesn't hold below, there is a possibility since we were ranging, the price could end up bouncing up, coming back within this particular air before we do look for our selling opportunities. And this week we will know as long as we are holding below this particular red line right here or this particular area here we will be looking for selling opportunities now if we do get the price breaching and holding above this particular area then at that point in time we will be able to turn to buyers but at this point in time our buyers will be to still look for selling opportunities on the british pound against the us dollar now moving on to the next currency pair we do have the british pound against the australian dollar now in this currency pair remember we had pointed out that we are in a buyer zone we had seen when the market did open up during the week, it was within this particular air. We did mention we could look for buying opportunities within this particular air. Now we can see it did not get exactly towards this air that we had highlighted, but you can see if I do move the level up higher, pointing out to this particular air, you can see that the market was ranging throughout the whole week. So the buyers, uh, the buyers for the buy still did end up working out where we could have actually looked for buying opportunities within the lows here. And you can see at the end of the week, the market did manage to breach its air to the upside. Now, the main thing we will need to find out is if it actually will hold to the upside. 
there is a possibility if the price comes back in within this area then we will still have our same levels that we will be looking at so i will slightly adjust this area right here so we will still be looking for buying opportunities however this is now the area we will wait for price to actually hold above so if we do get the price actually holding above this area we can continue looking for buying opportunities and we do know as long as we are holding above this particular price right here around the 1.835 price we will still be looking for buying opportunities if we do get the price coming down lower and holding below this particular area right here then at that point in time we will turn into sellers now moving on to the next currency pair we do have the british pound against the japanese yen last week we were looking for selling opportunities you can see the sell did work out pretty well the previous week we had pointed out that uh, we did have these three areas that we were looking for selling opportunities we can see that the market did end up bouncing off this particular area so we can see more detail on the one hour time frame where the market did bounce down here we had hoped to see if we could get these sellers pushing down it seems as if there were sellers right here holding the market and it seems that these are the sellers who are actually pushing down or giving us the strength to actually go down lower it did range between these two areas before finally managing to come down managing to breach this air to the downside which we did have the particular air here and you can see it did give us a pullback and still come down so the market did end up ranging towards the end of the week however the bias for the sales were still active so this week we will still be looking for selling opportunities right now it does look as if the price is trying to breach its air to the downside so we'll wait to see if we can get the price breaching and holding below this particular air then we should be good to go to continue with those selling opportunities if it does probe again similar to what it did uh, uh, last week we will wait to see if we can still cut our selling opportunities within this air because we have identified that there are sellers holding the market within this air right here now if we do get the price coming back up higher there is a possibility that the market could react from these sellers right here because you can see these are the sellers who are responsible for bringing this market down lower last week now if we do get the price breaching this area to the upside and holding above or at least breaching and holding above this particular area right here we will now turn into buyers on this current spell on the british pound against the japanese yen however for now we, the bias is still to look for selling opportunities and we will be looking for sales wherever we can get a pullback and where price does approach an area where there are sellers those are the best times to actually look or at least within those areas are the best places to look for selling opportunities now moving on to the canadian dollar against the japanese yen on this current spare last week we were looking for selling opportunities it had some correlation with the british pound against the japanese yen where there was this particular low where we had hoped to see if the price actually was holding below this area last week or at least at the beginning of last week it did look as if the market had probed this air and this was a huge probe we can see that the price was holding above this particular air but it seems it had only pulled back towards the support and resistance air actually bounced off tried to go up higher couldn't make a new high before the market did manage to come down and actually breach to the downside so it seems that this level was actually finally breached the market did end up going down lower and the sales did end up working out so for this week our bias is still to look for the sales however our levels are going to change slightly so we'll delete some of these levels so they're not very confusing so our bus is still to look for selling opportunities however we will be looking for sales as long as we're holding below this particular sellers area right here now we do have the next level here where there are sellers so we can expect the price could pull back to this particular area for us to catch our selling opportunity right now price has approached the area where there are buyers you can see that the price did hold there the previous week as well as last week so if we do get the price managing to breach this area to the downside and holding below then at that point in time we can continue looking for our selling opportunities on the canadian dollar against the japanese yen now moving on to the next current spell at least we will have oil so on oil last week we had pointed out that this particular air did seem as if it had probed to the downside however it did end up coming back in so this was a probe where we had mentioned that we were still in a buyer zone now we had pointed out that the market had approached a seller's air and did mention that if these sellers could still react and come down lower we can see they did they pushed this market down lower approaching this support and resistance where the buyers were can see that the buyers did react pushing the market up higher it tried to breach this area but unfortunately this seemed to be like a probe of some sort in fact it ended up coming back down to some sellers right here as you can see this area seem to have been fake areas or at least fake prices and there's a true support and resistance within that particular area it seems as if it bounced off there and it managed to come down now we had pointed out if we do get the price breaching and holding below this area we will now turn into sellers we can see that's what it did at the 
towards the end of last week so our bias this week will be to look for selling opportunities now our cells will start off this area so i will adjust the area slightly so we do have the main seller here who was responsible for breaching or at least breaching this particular area to the downside and we do have this particular low right here as you can see that the area where they are buyers so our bias this week will be to look for selling opportunities so we will be looking for sales within these three areas so we do have a support and resistance area right here where the sellers could pull back to and react from there now we do know as long as we're holding below this particular sellers right here we will be looking for selling opportunities so there's a possibility price could pull back to one of these areas if we do get the price breaching and holding above this area then at that point in time we will turn into buyers but right now since the market has breached the downside we can see that there's an area of buyers which is giving us issues so if we can get the price breaching and holding below this particular area we will be able to continue with our selling opportunities on oil now moving on to silver last week we had pointed out these three areas which did not which pra practically remained the same we had pointed out that we were ranging and it seems that the range did continue going throughout the week last week you can see that the market did try to pull back give us a pullback within this particular area unfortunately it felt slightly short it seems as if it did come back to this support and resistance area it did bounce off there multiple times before the cells did end up coming in so it seems that the cells did end up working out you can see this particular area is an area where we had pointed out that there are buyers holding so if you can get the price breaching and holding below we should be good to go for those selling opportunities so this week uh, the levels won't have changed that much we will adjust this level slightly so we do have the sellers area here so we could possibly catch a selling opportunity within that area we do know as long as we are holding below this area right here we will be looking for selling opportunities and now if you can get the price actually breaching and holding below there's a possibility this could be a probe and at the beginning of the week this market could come back in if it does that we will be looking for the selling opportunities either within this particular area here or all the way up within this seller's area now if we do get the price holding below chances are we could be able to continue coming down with those selling opportunities on silver so basically the levels would not have changed that much on this currency pair but trade it with caution so now the last currency pair we do have we do have gold so on gold last week we were looking for selling opportunities we had pointed out that we are overall in a seller's zone so we can see the market did end up pulling back up during the week you can see it did end up coming down lower from this particular area bounced off this area where there are buyers it tried to actually hold but you can see uh, below it actually held above once it did hold above you can see that the price did continue going up higher it approached this seller's area it did look as if it was holding above and it did actually if we are trading it on the one hour time frame but we can see that the market could not really breach much this area and actually didn't really uh, go pretty far it actually quite held quite close within that particular area and did manage to come down lower you can see once it did come down lower it did give a pullback and the selling opportunity did work out at least approaching our area of buyers so this week we'll still be looking for selling opportunities on gold we are still holding within this seller zone so right now it did look as if it had probed this air so we'll still be looking for sales within this particular seller's air right here we know there are major sellers holding the market there we do have a support and resistance area here which the market did hold before and you can see that's where the market is holding uh, this week so we'll be looking for sales if we can't get the price actually bouncing off this air since we are at a buyer's air the price could pull back bounce off here and still come down lower if we can't get the price breaching and holding below this air be wary of the next problem air right here because you can see that there are buyers holding the market once we can get the price breaching and holding below there we will be targeting towards the low right here so if you do manage to catch your selling opportunities be wary of these levels as they could give your selling opportunity issues and you could easily find the buyers reacting from there because remember the market is always full of buyers and sellers so you have to be careful about where you're looking to end to enter your trade as well as how you're going to manage your trade so that's it for me uh thank you all so much for joining me today uh really do appreciate and try to help you out as much as possible now if you like the video and found value in it does help out the channel if you do drop a like and subscribe and we hope to see you all in the next video happy trading everyone and have a great week